Hi guys, it's me, Melissa, again. Um, I want to do my last oracle for today. Um, it's the Fairy Tale Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. And then, um, artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, this says it's an, an enchanted oracle of initiation, mystery, and destiny. Here's the front of the box. The back it, um, says it's a 44-card um, oracle and guidebook set. Princess quest for true love. Princesses dance in enchanted slippers and girls emerge from the ashes of the fireplace. Changed forever by the touch of a fairy godmother's wand. You are holding a great treasure, overflowing with life-changing magic. Grounded in the epic tradition and timeless wisdom of fairy tales, this oracle reveals the meaning and lessons behind stories like The Little Match Girl, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, and Hansel and Gretel. This magical deck will introduce you to un discovered gems, unearthing tales of unsurpassed imagination to advise, inspire, and delight you. Every beautiful card offers trustworthy, compassionate, and uplifting guidance to help you navigate life's every peril, every promise, and every enchantment. Illustrated by renowned fairy artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith, written by Lucy Cavendish, the fairy tale oracle teams the glory and wonder of the world's most beloved fairy tales with stunning, accurate messages, bringing you an oracle of outstanding depth and beauty. This was um, in 2000, the, the printing of this was 2016. Um, it was copyrighted in 2016 um, by Blue Angel Blue Angel Publishing. Um, here's the back. It's a nice hard box. <clears throat> the inside of the box is purple. And here is the guidebook. We'll get into the guidebook here in a moment. Let me get the cards out. Um, again, this de this um, box doesn't have that around the edge, so the cards just sit in here. There's quite a bit of room. These are large cards. Um, so that's that. Um, the cards are of good quality. Um, I like that. Here's the backs of the cards. I, I love the backs of the cards. I love the colors on those. This one is reversible. So let's grab into the guidebook and then we'll get into the cards. Um, like I said um, before, Lucy Cavendish books are amazing. Her The illustrations by Jasmine are amazing. Her artwork is just gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love it. So let's get into this guy, this guidebook. Um, she has her dedication page. We go into the path through the woods. Your guide to working with um, fairy tale oracle. She has a little thing on um, what are fairy tales, who wrote the fairy tales, the value of the darkness in the fairy tales. Is a fairy tale, a myth, or a legend? Fairy tales, initiation, and mystery. Um, on the importance of promises in your work in fairy tales. How to work with the fairy tales. Your guidebook. How to read it and take it to heart. Um, she has questions. And she answers some questions. Two methods of revealing blocks. Um, a note on reverse cards, which I don't read. Um, caring for your cards and the energies. Journal and your readings. Card reading layouts. She has the leaping card. She talks about leaping cards. 
Um, the three times is a charm spread, the Celtic Cross. The Happily Ever After spread. 13 Moons Fordcast spread. The Fairy Cross spread. And then asking about individuals. And then she goes into the cards. Um, in the back, it does give her her different um, oracle decks that she has written um, about the author, about the artist. So that's the book. The book is nice. It is black and white. Um, let me flip to a page. It has about a page page and a half for each. Well, about two, two and a half pages um, on some of the cards. So it's a nice book. Um, like I said, the cards are on the glossy side. So when they do stick together when you get them, but they handle nice, they're a nice card stock. I really like the card stock on these. So let's get into these cards. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, here is Snow White, which is um, for purity. Love that artwork. Um, I love the wolf here. It's a beautiful Snow White. It makes me want to go and read all the fairy tales again now. Um, this is Rapun Rapunzel, Liberation. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The Princess and the Pea, Sensitivity. I love that card. Hansel is survival. The artwork just depicts these characters so wonderful. I just love it. Here's Gretel, Ingenuity. The Poisoned Apple. Jealousy, beautiful. The Little Mermaid, Sacrifice. I love this one. Puss in Boots, Wit. I love it. I love him. He is so adorable. Ah, oh, Cinderella. Goldilocks entitlement. There's the three bears. Can you see them in the back? Ah, oh, so sweet. Now this one I've never heard of. The Tinderbox Soldier Ambition. Never heard of that one, but I love that little pug. The Frog Prince, Intimacy. Thumbelina, Expectations. I l These cards just make me smile. Because they're so adorable. Red Riding Hood, Rites of Passage. Love, love, love. I have not heard of this one either. The Goose Girl. Theft. Must be she stole a 
a goose. Rumple still skin secrets. Bluebeard taboos. I've never heard of this one either. Vasil, Vasilsa, the brave, courage. Get their eyes. The little match girl, choice. Love that. The Red Shoes, Obsession. The Twelve Dancing Princesses, Enchantment. This card's beautiful. I love the colors of those flowers. The Sea Maiden, His Promises. What came of picking flowers is greed. Beautiful. And I haven't heard of this next one either. Um, it's Tamlin Battle. I'm going to have to do some reading on some of these. Brother and Sister. Oh, beautiful. Transformation. Look at that. It's beautiful. Snow White and Rose Red, Sister Love. I haven't heard of this either. The Light Princess, Ungrounded. Fairies, words, beautiful. I love this next card. <clears throat> the Rose Elf, Revelations. I love that sparkle coming out of her eye, that. The day boy, the night girl, balance. And it's got the different phases of the moons. Yeah. The princess who never smiled, healing, beautiful. Sleeping Beauty, Awakening, beautiful picture, Sleeping Beauty. Verde, Prato, Wounds, 
Mm. This one's different. The juniper tree deception. I don't know if you guys can see all the images on the bottom. The different images. The white snake. Mm. Understanding, beautiful. Look at the colors, that blue. That white snake. The Snow Queen, Loyalty. Mm. Beautiful. Looks like she's got ice hanging from her nose. The snowflake. And... The Children of Lear, Voice. Oh, beautiful. Fair, brown, and trembling gifts. That's a beautiful one. Card. I love her hair. This is another pretty one. Um, the Wood Maiden Trust. Her with a goat. Dawn, the golden-haired duty. Beautiful. The Nixie of Mill Pond, memory. Oh, her eyes, whoa. Can you see those eyes? The wild swans, oh, dedication. She's beautiful too, those eyes. Fairy ointment, the sight, it's beautiful. That rainbow of colors and the rainbow on her wings. Bring it up closer. Colors. Water and salt. The last one, guys. Um, it's um truth. Beautiful. So that, guys, is the um, the fairy tale oracle um, by Lucy Cavendish, and artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Beckett Griffith. I love, love, love. I haven't worked um, too much with this deck. Um, I just got this one not too long ago. Um, it was the last one, last Oracle that I've got, that I bought. Um, I got this on, <coughs> I'm sorry, eBay. Um, and I believe I paid $20 for that. So that's that. Oh, let me do a reading for you guys. Um, I think in my last video it got cut off because my... Sweet mother was calling me. So let me just 
do a little shuffling of these cards and see if one comes out here. Let's do a card reading for this week. Let's see what we need to know, guys. Angels, fairies. I'll come. And we had a leaper. So let's see what this one is, guys. Okay, it's the princess and the pea. Sensitivity. Let's look in the book and see what she says about the princess and the pea. Okay. Once there was a prince who wanted to marry a prince, princess. Only a real one would do. There is no hiding who you truly are. Even if you were to forget your own past, your character will display where you're from and who you are. This card is about those who are sensitive in clarescent clear feelings. This ability to discern something slightly amiss can be challenging to live with, as is the sensitivity you experience in environments that are strange and new to you. Some people may find you difficult, fussy, and even accuse you of falsifying your own sensitivity. But others will understand that some people are able to feel what cannot be seen by a human eye, and their true value can be recognized by observation of their actions. While the being at the center of the story is a princess, this does not mean there is any entitled attitude taking place. It is simply that there is a kind of rare quality to you. Some will deny this. Others will recognize this and value you for who you are. Your life will not always be easy. Feeling so much so easy, easily is difficult for you and often for others around you. But when this trait is worked with well, when you can use this ability to feel and sense what is around you, it can be a great value and lead to great strength. So you must learn to work with your own sensitivity and to harness its power for the good of others and to deal with a hypersensitivity in ways that are healthy for you too. You cannot pretend to be others. Uh, I'm sorry. You cannot pretend to be other than what you or who you are. Others will always find you out. So no matter. So no more precedents. Come out into the open with who you truly are. What can sense what you can feel and how you know what you know and be authentic. It is already known who you truly are. Your incredible sensitivity will be revealed even when you are asleep, no matter how much the disturbance is, is hidden from you, you will feel it out. Such awareness must be learned to live with else it could haunt you. And you must find others like yourself to be amongst. The layers cannot cover who you are. There is no mask you can wear. There is no place you can go where you feel differently. You are who you are. And beneath the layers, the pea will find its way into your skin and bruise you deeply. Meanings. You have empathetic qualities. You have sensory talents and skills. You can feel your way through life. Your feelings are trustworthy. You can, you need to create a safe and comfortable oasis. 
Trust your senses, all six of them. Others will love your true self. You are highly sensitive at present. You cannot hide who you are. So that's the card for this week, guys. The princess and the pea. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, if you want more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Um, like this video, and hopefully we can get more like this. Okay, guys, have a blessed week. I love you.